So just to give an overview of where, we, where we're at at King's, um, we started treating patients with lymphoma with CAR T cells in January. Um, we're proud to have treated um, the first lymphoma patient in the country with CAR T cell um, um, through the NHS. We've been having some, some really excellent results so far. So um, as of this week, we've infused 20 patients um, with lymphoma um, with a mixture of the, of the two licensed products. Um, we've seen some really, really um, positive responses. Um, there is toxicity. Um, we've done a lot of work in our department um, about um, establishing a multidisciplinary team. We have lots of input from intensive care, neurology, um, cardiology, renal, um, specifically to help um, help us help us with the challenges of of CAR T cells. But um, today at this conference, I presented our preliminary results. Um, which shows um, our overall response rate so far is 85%, which is in line with um, the real world data and, and that reported in, in, in Zuma 1. So we're really positive about, about the CAR program at King's. So the two main toxicities with CAR T cells are cytokine release syndrome, or CRS, and neurotoxicity. Certainly we have seen um, these happen. All of our patients have had a degree of cytokine release syndrome. I think to an extent this is a good thing because that means the T cells are expanding and they're doing, they're doing their work. We found that patients with serious CRS are manageable with our protocols that we've set up. Um, tocilizumab and anakinra have been very important. And I think also the link in with intensive care and, and, and uh, early transfer of patients um, has really allowed us to demonstrate that giving patients um, CAR T cells and treating their CRS, we can do this safely in the NHS. Um, the second toxicity, neurotox neurotoxicity, or as the new consensus guidelines will call it, ICANN, um, is very serious. Again, we've set up protocols um, to be able to manage this. We have seen some patients have serious neurotoxicity, but thankfully um, in our institution, um, all of the patients have recovered. Um, the, patient, the one patient we had that had grade four neurotoxicity did not have cerebral edema on scan, and she's actually made a full recovery um, um, after um, after an intensive care admission. So we're happy that we can manage the toxicities of CAR T cells. Certainly they are there and you have to be well set up to deal with them, but I think we've shown that um, we can, we're able to deal with those.